Hey, hello everyone, what is cooking all you good looking people out there and welcome to another exciting episode of Universe Sandbox 2. Today we are going to be checking out some sweet simulations, including checking out um, some really cool impact uh, ones. Mm, wow, experiment, stre I don't want to stress test, create, oh, okay, create mm, collisions. Well, we saw Earth and Moon, so... Let's see Earth and Acrophis. Well, it was rather, it was rather small and insignificant seeming. If what if we fast forward time? There you go. Earth rotates. Well, it does. the The Earth rotation isn't really in the in the frame of reference there, but you can see a very similar thing happens to others. All right. What if we check out maybe, oh, sun and earth? Okay, earth and earth, all right. Wow, well, that was that was quite the way of displaying that event. <sighs> wow, all right, that was something. Oh, we can check out the earth, we can see its, uh, its radius is getting bigger, and its density is also getting, wow. All right, that's some that's some wild stuff. It's um, surface temperature seems to have reached a uh, pretty high. Wow. All right, let's uh, let's let's do let's do that again. Earth and Earth and okay, Earth and um, Earth and Moon. Oh, there you go. Boom. Hey, look. Oh no. Oh, the Moon almost made it out of there. All right, let's do let's do that again. Earth and Moon, stop. Okay, now we got some stuff to play with here. There you go. So, um, what can we see? Well, total velocity, what if we increase that to something like, I don't know, um, 300 kilometers per second. All right. And then let's turn this a little bit slower to go maybe, there you go. 20, yeah, 28.3 kilometers per second. Boom. Oh, yeah, look at this. Wow. That looks really, really cool. I've got to say. And let's click on the Earth to get ourselves some stats. Well, it seems like the surface temperature of the Earth has already reached its peak. But, man, does that ever, does that ever look cool? Hmm. And then we can see, oh, there's Africa getting swallowed up. All right, let's go a little tad faster. 37, let's go 45, 45 seconds per second. I mean, look how fast this is traveling. It's traveling so fast across the world. It's just a fiery shock. This is 45 seconds per second. This is, looks like 34 minutes have elapsed, and the ball of fire has reached halfway around the world. Over here, completely decimated. Um... Looks like the spread has oh uh, has gone, but I don't think the Earth is going to last particularly long. Let's go and oh, all right, the whole Earth has now turned into a big giant molten ball. After only two hours of time, the Earth is now a fiery molten ball. Wow, that's impressive. All right, let's go. Let's go change things again. I want to see that. I want to see that. Uh, again, now, okay, one of my questions, all right, there you go, okay, oh, space, nice, space, I can pause it, so, uh, home, earth and moon, all right, cool, so, now we're just going to go the regular, regular pace, let's go right here, let's actually take the earth, and can we rotate the earth, motion, um, rotational, p no, uh, rotation axis. Okay, there's no... That doesn't do anything. Okay, so... Oh, is there a way for me to rotate... To rotate the Earth in space right now? Total velocity position. Velocity orientation. Okay, is it is it Y? W y... Oh, actually, wait. Hold on. Where is... Where's the light? Is there a way for me to camera relative display setting? Is there a way for me to change where the light is coming from? 
that's what I need to do. I need to change the light, unfortunately, because I wanted to, mm, if there was a way to, is there a way for me to illuminate everything when I do this? Actions, uh, there's iron. Well, all right, well, let's, let's, let's go and change just a few things. This is a really cool looking impact, so that's fine. I'm fine with it going like this. We're going to change it to uh, seven. Yeah, sure. We're going to change it to um, 21 seconds. And we'll see the earth. We'll see the moon coming in like this. There you go. Now it's probably going to make that big bright spot. Let's go basic. Let's stop. How is the temperature on earth? Really, the temperature wouldn't have increased even, even at this point right here. All right, we got, we're close to the impact zone. Boom! Big giant flash. Oh, yeah, there you go. Oh, there's the moon just sinking right in. Whoop. <laughs> that is crazy. It doesn't even come out the other side. I wonder if there's a way to make that happen. Well, all right, let's find out. Okay, uh, let's go. The uh, let's go home. Earth and moon. Uh, okay, whatever. Oh wow, that that looks cool as well. In fact, you go home, Earth and moon. Pause, and it just goes slightly slower. All right, so we got we got this thing now. Look at this. Look at this weird block there there it is all right so that is the fragment is there total velocity uh we can change that to i don't know sh sure 70 kilometers per second all right there you go Woohoo! now we got that thing and it's escaping and the earth's gravity doesn't really affect much and, oh, wow, this is just getting hurdled with crazy impacts. So now this thing, stop. What if we make this, I don't know, n uh, no, not one, make it negative. There you go. So now it's going to go back towards the Earth. So let's get, let's get a view, let's get a view of that event happening. Oh, crap. All right, so now we're headed towards the Earth. Big fireball. It's off, it's off kilter. So we'll just slow it down. There you go. Nice. Let's see. Actually, let's go focus on the Earth and focus on the oncoming, the this oncoming craziness right here. All right. Is the Earth big enough to get this thing to hit it? I have no idea. Dun 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 dun. dun. Oh man. All right. Oh, it's coming in coming in hot oh what really it just just flies right by that's interesting all right fine uh we go over here total velocity negative uh nope it's just gonna go on forever all right let's make another let's do another simulation earth and earth and mars stop all right let's see how it looks first oh too big there you go too big sort of balls and that goes like that interesting and then oh it seems like the fragment might come back in will it will it make contact again boom oh wow that has caused a big rotation there can't believe that last one didn't uh the earth is now well i mean this surface temperature maybe that's like a maximum maybe that i have no idea what that surface temperature is but this thing she it looks like it's coming back. So let's speed up time a little bit. Oh, Earth actually moves. Boom. Wow. All right. So, um, and it's only been, look at that. It's only been one single day. It's been a single day since that's happened. All right. So, uh, home simulation, what are we going to do? Let's do um, Earth and Earth, two Earths. It ends up ends up being the same size. Mm, all right. Simulating a Neptune in Earth. Whoa. The real question is: Is there a way to make one of these just pass through the other? 
So, all right, let's find out. Let's do home and let's do earth and moon and pause. All right. So, uh, materials, is there a way for us to do uh, density? Well, first of all, let's make the iron content up like crazy. So we're going to do, we're going to do that. Just crazy iron content over there. And that is going to be density of, yeah, sure, 7 grams per cubic centimeter. And then the earth materials, uh, we're going to do hydrogen. Oh, boy. Wow. Well, we can go, hmm, that's not what I want to do. So we'll do this, and we'll make the radius, make the radius shrink earth and we'll make it one earth all right so we'll one earth hydrogen planet versus a uh, extreme dense moon which we can go radius uh where's moon moon one all right so there you go it is a moon made of iron versus a earth made of hydrogen you would expect it to pass through let's find out does it come out? Wow, look at that. It doesn't come out. The size has increased dramatically. Material. Wow, that's pretty crazy. It got a lot bigger, but it did not. It didn't come out the other side. All right, so let's do the same thing over again. Because that, I mean, it looks cool. It's getting, oh man, it's getting bigger and bigger and bigger. Materials is there. I mean, its radius is just increasing as its density is dropping. I mean, that's kind of crazy. Look at that thing. It's becoming like a sun. Holy smokes. Its density is, wow. It's like on fire, isn't it? And its temperature is dropping as well. Well, that's interesting. What happens if we just make time? F Whoa, fly by. Um, there you go. Five days per second. Oh, boy. All right, slow down. Slow down. All right, this is taking a lot. So we'll slow things down. Come on now. All right, I know, I know. I shouldn't have. Okay, pause. All right, there you go. Slow down. I know I shouldn't have done that to you. But there it goes. It got knocked off. Okay, so we know we don't want to speed those up, those up too much because that seems to ruin things. Okay. Oh, crap. Uh, home, earth and moon, stop. Okay, again, we'll do the same sort of thing. So materials, density, um, we'll just go boom. We'll make the density, uh, we'll make the density, I don't know, like uh, 50, sure. Really, there's no way to, okay, 20. No, it doesn't really seem to, it doesn't seem that there, it's possible. So we'll just make it uh, mostly iron because that just seems to make sense. And we want to make the radius uh, a moon. We want to make it one of them. Okay. The earth, we want to make it out of hydrogen, 100%. We want to make its radius, uh, radius earth, one of them. And then we want to make the motion of the moon, um, total velocity, total velocity, um, 700 kilometers per second. And then we're going to want to make the time down to two seconds per second. There you go. Boom. And that has pushed this planet a crazy amount. I mean, look at that, but it doesn't come out the other side. Actually, it looks like the moon has, like, blown up. There you go. This one has been pushed. But look at that. It, it seems like it was just a blow to the surface. How? That is craziness. And the moon? Well, still mostly exists. And this... The temperature, well, it's gone up, but it hasn't turned into a giant ball of flames. Um, we can propel it and see. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's where it starts happening. There you go. The fire has spread on and on. Oh, yeah, and it becomes the giant red ball 
it's traveling at like a crazy speed. Man, oh, as it heats up, it expands. So that's what's happening. And look at all these little fragments of moon that are out there. Man, that is intense. Well, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode. And as always, tune in tomorrow as we check out more of Universe Sandbox 2. Aw, oh, yeah. Cue the royalty-free music. Three, two, one, go. Come on, everybody. Get on your feet. Stand up, look at the screen, and repeat. I'm gonna like, rate, comment, and subscribe. I love watching Aether vids all of the time. Thanks for dropping by and spending the time. Hope you've enjoyed, and let's get on with our lives. Oh yeah. Thanks to Kevin McLeod for these awesome beats. Ooh yeah. Have a good one. Bye!